Hi, I'm Dave Troll with the Troll Gallery, a custom furniture shop in St. Petersburg, Florida, and I'm going to talk to you about the different types of woodworking clamps. As you can see here, I have several different clamps that I use on a regular basis. One of the more popular is a standard bar clamp. Simple bar with a ratcheting head and a screw mechanism to tighten the stock down. These come in different sizes, shapes, um, and lengths. This is a different style of bar clamp. It's called a parallel head clamp because these two faces stay parallel at all times. It's good for gluing up um, objects and preventing them from racking while they're being clamped. Another clamp that a lot of people are familiar with are what's called quick grip clamps. The head slides easily on the bar and then when you go to clamp something in you just squeeze this handle and it locks it up and to release there's another handle here that just breaks the, the seal. What you'll find with this style clamp is that you won't get the same kind of pressure as you will with a standard bar clamp. Other clamps that a lot of people are familiar with is a C clamp. A C body with a threaded arm. You, again, you get a lot of pressure with this. It's the threads that give you the extra, the extra pressure. Uh, and again, they come in different sizes. You can find them as small as one inch up to eight inches and probably larger if you do some, do some digging. Pretty common tool. You can use these all the time. Another clamp that I use quite frequently is a spring clamp. And it's uh, based on the same theory as a clothespin, but it's a lot sturdier. There's a large spring in the middle and then you can just squeeze them open, put your piece in there, and lock them shut. Again, not a lot of pressure, uh, but they're great for a lot of little things and holding things in place while you um, make your different setups and things of that nature. Another clamp that a lot of people are familiar with is a pipe clamp. Usually available in two different sizes based on the size of the pipe. This is a three-quarter inch pipe clamp. They also come in half inch. You can have uh, clamps as long as you can have pipes. They're threaded on one end, free sliding on the other. Again, a ratcheting jaw holds it in place and a sturdy thread on the other end to tighten things up. The nice thing about these is you can have a couple of clamp uh, parts, the heads, and several different pipe lengths and you can change the length of your clamp simply by sliding the heads off. Um, I have pipes as short as two feet, as long as eight feet. Uh, and the nice thing is with a simple pipe coupler, I can just keep extending and extending. I could easily um, make my two eight foot clamps into one 16 foot clamp if I ever needed anything that large. So they're very uh, inexpensive, very powerful, um, and very, you know, it's a, it's a clamp that you can use for a lot of different items. Another clamp uh, that I use quite frequently um, is called a parallel jaw clamp. Uh, and they're not as popular as they used to be. Uh, if you look in your grandfather's garage, you'll probably find them because they were great clamps back in the day, and they still are. But they uh, can be a little finicky, but it's a simple double twist mechanism. The jaws can stay parallel, or if you're doing odd shape work, you can use one side and bring in uh, one of the jaws at an angle. Again, really simple to operate once you're used to them. Uh, they've been around for years and years and years. Uh, the older ones actually had wooden threads, um, and they're still working great today. I'm Dave Troll with the Troll Gallery, the fine art of furniture making.